All right, everyone. So this video, I'll try to finish the eye and the mouth over here. And then the previous video, we talked about how we are able to trace the transparency and match the silhouette. It's a very good practice on our observation skills to just have the model at the corner. But sometimes we also want to be able to keep the silhouette very close. So that's why we are doing this. And uh, always remember that uh, it's pretty good for us if we are able to do so. Okay, so now I match my model to the same location. Again, I'll hold down control to create a mask on the face. I'm selecting the head of the model. So I'll create a mask like this. So probably it's a little bit too big. So I'll just uh, make it smaller. And then uh, I'll go all the way down to the bottom. I'll press uh, extract with a value of uh, smoothness 100. Okay, so it makes our extracted piece very smooth which is uh, very useful for me and then I'll just press accept okay so I get this piece of a uh, piece of uh, model over here and the center part is probably a bit thick but it's okay for me I'm using number seven and then I'll just pinch it down so so in case you are not happy with it you can still pinch it which is what I did so I wouldn't be too worried for me. In this case, I did pretty well. If not, you can do a thinner mask, and then the thing looks just fine too. If you have a smaller mask, a more accurate mask, and you just extract it. Okay, remember press accept so that this will be created as a separate mesh. So let me rename this. This is eyebrow one. And we should be cool with that. And uh, let me create another. So I'll duplicate it. I'll move it down. So where's my gizmo? I'll set my gizmo to the center. With actually, I'll do another method. I'll show you how smart I am. I hold down alternate, and then I'll by pressing down alternate, I'll be able to change the direction of the gizmo, right? So I set the gizmo over here. So I'll pivot and rotate this uh, this eyebrow down like this. So it should work. Sure, so there we go, so good, guys. And then uh, now the other direction, I'll rotate inside. So, yep, yeah, it should work pretty well. So, I think the one down flaw is that it's not as super accurate as extract because it's not just based on directly on the mesh, but I can also. Uh, I can also just push in and out a little bit and then the good thing about duplicating this mesh I get a constant shape of this top eyebrow and the bottom eyebrow so maybe um, if you think that's more important you should do that I, for me I think this might be easier so in this case uh, I choose this method so both methods should work okay so let me uh, refer to my reference again hello reference how's my cat how's my cat I think I think it's pretty good. It's fine for now. So maybe the bottom part is a little bit big. Okay. It's okay. It's not. It's pretty accurate. So here I'll just adjust a little bit based on what I see just now. And uh, actually these two, I'm gonna merge it. Okay, I'm gonna merge it because I want to move them together. And it's fine. You can just uh, adjust them together. When I wish them. So yeah, I think this is gonna be better. Push this out a little bit. There we go. So although I push in just now, uh, I still have to push it out because it's not resting perfectly on the face. So that's what I was saying just now when uh, this face is not that perfect so maybe the top face I have to pinch it a little bit again so just be aware that once you have combined the shapes uh, maybe I shouldn't do small changes like this because it might be more troublesome all right so I think I'm happy with this right now now for the mouth mouth I don't think we need to trace at all. We can just use the hit, okay, control drag to undo the mask that we did for the eyebrows just now. Use my number one brush, push in, push in, push in, push in. 
and we should be able to get the shape of the mouth over here. So you only need to refer to your mesh if uh, you think you have a bigger problem. Uh, in this case, this is pretty straightforward for the mouth, really. I'm not too concerned about this. So let's move it a little bit. Um, sorry, maybe I smoked too much. Push in a bit more first, and then I'll try to redynamesh this. Hold down alternate to push in, and redynamesh this. There we go. Now we can smooth this a little bit more. So the mouth by opening the mouth, the cat will have uh, lowered the jaw just a little bit. So just try to have that for him. And then maybe I will use my number 5 brush to push this out. See if it's really needed. I think I can do a little bit. So my number 5 brush, I'll just have intensity of 9. And so uh, see, I can push out the mouth a little bit. So number 5 brush is good for making the edges a little bit sharper. So that uh, there's a little bit more definition here. And then uh, let's see, remesh this. Remesh, remesh. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Okay, this is uh, pretty cool. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.